What to do, man? Welcome to Battle Truth and my point of view. I don't know you, so I'm not a hater. I can only give you the facts that's written on these papers. And since we have no dealing, therefore the court can care the less about your feelings. I'm the Honorable Malachi Markillian, your presiding judge, chairman and both person for the one united front. You are my witnesses and jury. You may be seated. Court is now in session. Let's talk about it. Okay, man, I want to touch and address a serious topic. Unlike any topic you may have ever heard that's definitely going on, that definitely need light shined on it, because it cannot go unchecked, unaddressed, as shameful as it is, but it happens in a lot, lot of families, almost every family, in one form or another, it does. And I'm talking about incest, sexual relations amongst blood relatives. Yep. This happens a lot. I know it happens in my family and I know it happens in your family. If you don't know about it, there's somebody in your family who do know about it. And that's what I want to talk about. Again, when I was doing my ministry studying, I found out during my study that one of the statistics were one out of every three females have been raped or molested by a member of their family, a close relative, by the time they turned to age of 15. 15. By a member of their family or a close relative. Now, I want to talk about this stuff because I used to hear a lot of stories of things like this that happened in my family. Uncles raping nieces, cousins raping cousins, or having sex with cousins. Some of them not young enough to understand whether it's right or wrong. Brothers raping uh, sisters. Yeah. Happens in a lot of families. I used to hear the stories of these things. And I know stories from talking to people of what happened to them. I've talked to people who told me. I've talked to girls who told me their brothers used to rape them. I've talked to uh, uh, guys who told me their uncles used to molest and rape them. Men, when they were boys. Let me tell you some of the things a lot of adults do in families that you have to be careful and mindful of. See, we tend to think because it's family that sex is outside. No, that's actually when it's more easier to be done because you don't think your cousin, your uncle, your brother, your father would do that to you. I have spoke and I have interviewed a lot of people. Women have told me their daddies raped them. Sisters have told me their brothers raped them. A lot of incest goes on in families. And it's not a black thing. It's not a white thing. You know, people, oh, them white people be doing that. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. This is a sin thing. This is a sin thing. And sin don't have no color. At all. And it's happening everywhere. In every nationality. No matter what color you is. As parents. We need to educate our children. We need to be mindful and understand. That protection first start within. We try to protect our children from the inside. But for outside. But forget we have to protect them from the inside. I remember. When we were young coming up. And we were kids. I remember our parents used to tell us stuff like this. Y'all kids, when they had a grown up in, y'all kids go in the back room, close the door, stay out of grown folk business. We'll go in them back rooms. And then one child, a managed person, would say something like, let's play house. 
Then you will be like, I'm the daddy, I'm the mama, I'm the daddy, I'm the mama. We all gr uh, uh, grinding, humping on each other in our own little separate closets and things like that. While the parents out there drinking and smoking, laughing, and we in there for hours. They don't even have a clue of what we all doing. At all. That's what they do. A lot of parents drop their kids off. To their grandmama house. To their brother's house. To their cousin's house. To their niece's house. Not knowing the people that's in their houses. I remember when we were coming up. They used to drop the kids off to grandmama house. So all these, all grandma kids them gathered out in different places. All them meeting up at grandmama house. Grandma got nine kids. My grandma got nine kids. So everybody, mostly all her kids, Bringing day kids over her house to watch. She older, so she just let everybody do what they doing. So that's where all the mess going on. At. And us parents at times, because we so comfortable of being grown and doing what we want to do, we do not protect the innocence of our children. We do not protect the innocent of our children. I watched this stuff happen when we were children and kids growing up. I remember, because I was younger at that time. At that time, I was about like six or seven. But I remember when we come over to grandma's house. Some of the kids was older. And we had grandmama's house. And I remember... When we get there, they send, you know, they always sending us out of their sight. Y'all going back there, y'all getting, getting on my nerves, all the noise, you know. And some of them used to do that on purpose because they knew the routine. They ain't gonna do nothing send us back there. We lived the farthest out of the majority of uh, grandma kids. We lived the farthest. So we didn't come around as often as some of them did. We would come around every now and then. But the ones who would be regular there, they knew the, they knew the whole routine and cycle. So we get there one day. Y'all go to the back room. Y'all kids get on. Go to the back. Go to the back. One of the brothers, one of the guy, uh, little cousins, knew how to pick the lock. Pick my auntie lock. She was gone at the time. Pick her lock. Go in her room. She got a whole collection of porno VCR tapes. They like talking among themselves. Which one you gonna put in? Which one? I'm like, what y'all gonna do? They like, shut up, shut up, shut up, be quiet. They like, let's watch this one. They put it in. We all in there. And they come right on like, I'm like seven watching this. Like, dang. But I'm all into it. I never saw that like. Watching them hardcore sex. Then they start trying it out on each other. I'm sitting there like. Then I remember that stuff plagued and stayed in my mind. And when I got to the age of like 12, I remember I was sitting there. And then I'm just going to keep it real because we talking about some real stuff. I remember I was thinking about what I saw the dude and them doing. How they would jack off and masturbate on the lady. So I just started doing that. Like I said, that man grabbed this thing. That's what I'm saying in my head. That man grabbed this thing and he just started. Then I just started doing it. Locked myself in the bathroom when nobody knew what I was doing. I just started doing it. I just kept, kept doing it until I found where it felt good. Didn't know what I was really doing. Then when it happened, I was like, wow, I did it. That's the stuff that happens. We don't protect our children's innocence. And I know this from experience of what I've seen over my life and the things that I know go on. A lot of us parents, we let our children watch rated R movies, 
movie that's inappropriate for them at their age and their mind. We let them listen to things they shouldn't be listening to. And it is educating and programming them on these things that they should not be knowing about at these ages that they learning about these things. I have seen adults and parents pull up in cars, bumping all type of oochie coochie, twerking, sex me music, F this, suck this music with babies and two year old, three year old, four, five year olds in the car, singing with their grown mamas nasty gangster tracks and songs. And they thinking it's cute. And they thinking it's cute. The best experience for a child is not what you say, it's the example that you show. But some of these parents think that because they do it and they grow, they think being grown give them a right to be wrong. And what they do is hurt their children' innocence in doing these things. And why you see so many kids afraid of the dark, fearful, scared to say things? Y'all letting them watch horror movies, sex movies, pornography, all type of foul, uh, 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 um, cursing and uh, profanity, and thinking it's cool. And they're hearing y'all do it in the house. And it's sad. It's ridiculous. It's like we programmed and channeled in our mind. And it's because we like it and we enjoy it. We don't want to take it away from ourselves. So we subject our children to it also. Because you don't want to stop watching it. Or you don't want to stop listening to it. You let your kids and them listen to it. But then you tell them what they better not say. What they better not do. Or some of them so damn ghetto. They say things like. I'd rather you do it around me than I do. I rather. It's horrible. It's horrible man. It's horrible. It's sad man. This is a sad. Sad. Falling world. And it starts with the parenting. Laziness have brought us into a point where we have given our children up and now they are being raised by social media, the internets and daycare centers. We don't even have dinners with our families to the point where you cook cooking home dinner, sitting at the table together. Now you cook dinner, he in his room eating, she in her room eating, you in your room eating. The table is just used for dicing up the food. Y'all don't cut off the radio, TV, none of the electronics to sit at a table like a family and eat and, 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 and talk about what's going on in each other's lives like that's supposed to be set to do. Then you having your kids off on people not knowing these people are being in your family molesting and doing anything to your own kids. To your own kids and it's sad and I have experienced seeing these things with my own eyes I'm hearing the people and family who are raping some of the family members crying out telling parents not wanting to believe that they brother or they uncle or they auntie raped somebody in the family because they like them and they so embarrassed or too ashamed to want to say something. They never confront it, never expose it, never let it out. So the person who's doing it continue to do it because they sweeping it under the rug and it's not exposed. When you tell it and you expose it, now everybody aware of it, they already know. Like, uh-uh, uh-uh, he not standing over here. He not standing over here. Jerry raped Keisha. That's her cousin. Jerry raped Tony. That's his nephew. I wish he would touch my child. But some of these parents don't even care. Still taking your kids over, dropping them off at grandma, dropping them off at your uncle and cousin them house. And they getting raped and touched and molested by own blood family members. Mental illness is a real sickness and disease that is actually going on. It is a spiritual thing also. These are satanic attacks over the mind. A lot of these parents is so lazy, so horrible with their parenting, upbringing, and grooming. It makes no sense at all. Then they try to find these intellectual reasons to justify the wrong that they expose their children to. To justify them 
uh, uh, not putting the end to it. Like, no, I let my children watch that stuff because I teach them. I tell them, no, shouldn't be watching that. Your children know the whole damn Friday movies. I don't watch none of that stuff for my kids. None of it. Even if I wanted to watch it. I know it, but I don't watch it with them. Period. We don't, I don't listen to cuss music with my kids. I don't listen to curse movies with my kids. And they grown. We still don't kick it like that. I'm a battle rap blogger. I ain't never watched the battle rap with my sons now. At all. At all. And they know what I do. Now, they probably watched it on their own. Somewhere. They grown, but they probably watched it on their own. And I haven't heard them say certain people, but uh, uh, who they heard and what battle they heard. But mm -mm, not with me. I don't play that. I don't play that. I never be their friend. Ever. I'm your father. And I'm not here to be popular. That's what parenting is. I'm not here to be popular. You're not going to like me as a parent to some degree. Because I'm not going to agree with what you do. And my job is to keep you alive and safe and give you the wisdom you're going to need to be successful in this world and make sure you're in a relationship with God so that your soul is kept. That's my job as a parent. And to protect you from the things that when I was growing up, I didn't have protection up for. And a lot of you parents, is horrible. Horrible. Stop watching rated R, cuss movies, profanity music, all with your kids. Being ghetto as hell. No, you dropping. Look, stop sending your kids out your sight. That's another thing. Ain't no doors closed in my house. I know that stuff. I told my kids, I say, look, y'all ain't going to never be able to get away with nothing when it comes to me. I was one of the most uh, 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 ghettoest, poorest, brokest dude in the world. I know all the tricks. I know all the tricks. No doors, no doors closed in here. Mm -mm. We keep all them doors open. Ain't got nothing to hide. You want to do, you better go to the bathroom. We don't close doors in here. Period. I take them off the hinges. It ain't happening. Sad, man. This stuff is happening. If you got a person in your family that raped and molest and, 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 and did something to members of y'all family and y'all quiet about it, shame on you. Open your mouth. Say something. Tell it. Let the whole family know who did it so that they could be, be, be aware and protect their kids and the one coming up from it. Y'all be trying to protect it and keep it quiet because it's embarrassing to the family. No, if he did that, it's embarrassing to him. I ain't embarrassed of it. He did that. I'm telling it. So when you quiet about it and you don't say nothing, you allow them to keep operating and moving. They ain't got no help. When they know that everybody know it, it may bother and trigger something off in them that makes them want to get help. When you quiet about it and y'all ain't saying nothing, they can tell when no nobody know because they see people too relaxed around them. Like, oh, they must don't know. Oh, they don't know what I did to Jerry. They don't know what I did to Kim. Oh, okay, come to your uncle. Come on, sit on my lap. Right. Give me a kiss. Give me a hug. No. No. Sorry. Not doing that. Get up out of here, man. We need to stop this stuff. This stuff needs to be addressed. This stuff needs to know what's going on. I found out about stuff like this. Broke my heart. Found out a person in my family was touching other members in my family. I'm like, damn, y'all wasn't, all the time y'all didn't say nothing. Why y'all wasn't saying nothing? All the times I didn't left people around and bump me. What? what, what? Why y'all didn't say nothing about that? Oh, you know, that was a long time. No, uh, 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 uh. No. No. Did he get help? Did y'all confront him? What were the end results? Uh, uh. You got somebody in your family who y'all know raped somebody, been molesting them and things like that? The family need to know. 
He need to be brought up on family charges. Family charges. Family want to bring you up on charges. Some type of retribution need to be done, settled, and it definitely need to be exposed. If you don't expose it, you allow it to keep happening. With that being said, this is your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment that some question is yours. Parents need to start respecting their children's innocence. Be mindful of the things you say and do around your children. Protect your children starting from the inside. Starting from the inside. Because it's in the inside before you let them go outside. And be careful. It don't matter if it's your family member. You better know who you're dropping your kids off to. And when you with your grown up and saying, oh, if they out of grown folk bidding, y'all go back to the back. Y'all better make sure them kids supervised. You better know that. And when you send them off on their own and these uh, uh, children who not mature in the mind to some degree and all the stuff you didn't let them see on TV or heard on music, they'll start trying that stuff on each other. Some in ignorance, some purposely. Trust me. You better be mindful of this. And this your boy Battle Truth. And ain't my judgment that's some question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth.